Hey there, gang. Patrick King here. Want to bring to you our question for today. Today, Kathy asks us, how do we teach our horse to relax at each gate while we're riding? Uh, How do we teach him to find relaxation and rhythm within each gate while we're riding? So the way that we would go about that, honestly, the way that I go about that, even from the first ride on a young horse, uh, is to give them the rein, to offer them uh, the opportunity to relax in that gate by giving them the reins. Now, you might have a horse that wants to rush when you do that. So we're gonna take our inside rein and spiral our horse maybe onto a smaller circle. If it's a young horse or a really rambunctious horse, we might kind of bend him and untrack the hind quarters, getting better control of that driving hind leg, and then we'll allow him out again on a nice long rein to prove that he's relaxed. Now, you might find yourself having to do this spiraling, bending, and releasing quite a bit until your horse starts to relax and become soft and steady in each gait. Uh, Oftentimes, riders are tempted to shorten up on the reins when the horse is tense. That's not going to help us at all, particularly with the outside rein. The outside rein works a lot like uh, a microphone it amplifies whatever anxiety the horse might have in his body. So if your horse is tense and your horse is going around rushing erratic, taking a hold of that outside rein is not gonna help you one bit. The inside rein, your inside aids, have uh, more uh, of a tendency to help control the horse's emotional condition, the mental side of the horse. So again, if he's rushing, bend him, spiral him on a smaller circle, As he starts to relax, immediately release the rein to the buckle or to the full length of the rein, um, giving him plenty of slack there so that he can go out there and take responsibility for his relaxation. He might rush again as soon as you bend or as soon as you release the rein. That's fine. Just bend again, spiral again, uh, and as soon as he starts to relax, once again, release that rein. You might find yourself doing that. 20 or 30 times, depending on how uh, anxious your horse is, how much he rushes, uh, until he starts to relax. It's really important you do this until your horse relaxes. It's a great way to warm your horse up uh, at the beginning of a ride. It's a great way, if your horse gets anxious during any piece of your ride, to throw the slack to him and return to that proving his relaxation part of your riding. So this is something that I return to quite a few times while I ride. Um, Again, you know, our tendency when the horse is nervous, when the horse is anxious and rushing, our tendency is to kind of grab the reins, pull the reins. What we need to do, though, is throw the reins away. We kind of tell our horse, hey, look, I'm not going to manage your emotions. You need to manage your emotions. And then once you've got that under control, then we'll start to, uh, you know, come back into that sophisticated conversation again. So, um, so Kathy, to answer your question, you're going to release those reins. Let that horse have the opportunity to prove to you that he's either tense or relaxed. Now, uh, Again, we might ask about the time frame for this. I've ridden horses 20, 30 minutes or longer until they've proven their relaxation at, you know, typically a walk, trot, canter. We give them this rein. It takes as long as it takes, okay? Uh, The more rambunctious he is, the more we might have to bend. The more nervous he is, the more we might have to spiral. Releasing, always releasing. Again, it's counterintuitive. We want to snatch, we want to hold. But what we need, what the horse needs us to do, is release. Is push those reins out there and give him the opportunity to relax. Don't manage his emotions for him. Give him the opportunity to manage his own emotions. Help him if he needs it, only through the inside aids, through spiraling smaller or like we talked about with a young horse, maybe doubling them around, untracking the hind quarters if necessary. We try to not do that uh, too much. But if the horse needs it for our safety, then, you know, it's okay. We need to do that. Um, But always returning to the slack in the rain to give the horse the opportunity to prove that they can manage their own emotions. Until they can go along at all gates, walk, trot, canter, so all three gates, uh, 
and you know and gate if your horse is a gated horse okay they're intermediate gates until they can do that on a slack rein and be relaxed with the reins kind of swinging and the horse staying soft and comfortable relaxed uh, with whatever we're doing only then is the horse actually ready for us to pick up a contact and ask them to come into more of a working frame if in that working frame they start to get tense we throw the reins away again going back to allowing them to prove their emotional relaxation. So I hope, uh, Kathy, that that's helpful. Hope that answers your question. Uh, question of the day that I have for you guys. What does your warm-up entail when you're riding your horse? Do you do some of these things, helping your horse to relax emotionally before you get to work? Or is it more of a physical workout in your warm-up when you get started? Let us know in the comments below in the video here what's your typical warm-up when you're riding your horse. Don't forget, gang, submit your questions. You keep asking questions, I'll keep offering videos to answer them. Thanks so much.